All right, so the last piece I wanted to show here are, are the secrets engines within Vault. So secret engines can store, generate, or encrypt data within Vault. Um, they're really the heart and soul of what you want to actually use Vault for. Uh, you can have many secrets engines enabled, um, so it just depends on what you need to use Vault for within your environment. So a quick example of those three, so uh, key value, cubbyhole would be an example of engines that store data for you within Vault. Uh, AWS, Azure databases are an example of secrets engines that may generate data. So for example, Dynamic Secrets and Transit um, and PKI are two examples of insert, uh, secret engines that will encrypt data for you. Um, so a quick example of, uh, of all the secret engines that we have here. So I mean, there's Active Directory, so kind of create dynamic um, AD accounts on the fly. Same thing for you know AWS, Azure uh, databases. So they support a variety of databases, including like MySQL and SQL Server. Um, you know, the key value pair, which we demoed earlier. Um, SSH, pretty neat. You can actually um, have, have it create an SSH user on a Linux host for you. Um, and then you have you know things like transit, which I mentioned before, to encrypt data on the fly. So for the demo here, we're going to look at the AWS one. So what we have here, brand new instance of Vault. So we're going to go through and enable the AWS Secrets Engine. So I'm just going to do it in the GUI. It's pretty easy. So just choose AWS here. Um, we're just going to leave the default path of AWS, um, except for we are going to change the default least TTL 30 seconds so that we can see um, it being created and deleted within the demo. So we're going to enable that. So the first thing we need to do is create roles. So a role um, will be the, the role or the policy that's assigned to the created user within AWS, the IAM user. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create one called like manage dev servers. Um, we're gonna leave it as an IAM user. So you can actually point to an existing um, policy that's already created um, or a role, uh, so you just, uh, put in the uh, Amazon resource name here, or you can create a new one. And that's what we're going to do for the fun of it. So I've got a policy over here that I want to create. So what I have here is the policy will allow this user when it's created to stop and start instances, um, any instance that has a resource tag um, of dev. So uh, think of it as maybe a developer or something like that can access this, uh, this account or use this account. So we're going to create the role here. All right, so we have a new role called Manage Dev Servers, and you can see the policy that I've added here. All right, so we're going to go back, and the other thing we need to do is we need to configure this, um, the AWS Secrets Engine, and we need to give it the access key and secret key that it will actually use to create these dynamic users and delete the dynamic users. So I have created, um, within IAM, I have this Vault Demo user. Um, for the fun of it, I have um, just administrative access on here just for sake of simplicity. But so we have a dedicated user within um, within IAM, and ideally you would just give it you know something like this, where you have just the uh, abilities to create users, delete users, uh, um, attach policies, stuff like that. So we'll go back into Vault. So I've already created a secret key and access key for that user. I've got it over here. So we're going to throw this in here. All right. So that gives Vault permission to interact with AWS. And that's it. So what we want to do is we'll go back to AWS. And so here's our role, Manage Dev Servers. Again, you can have a ton of different roles out here just depending on the need. So you can go in here. We're going to change the TTL to seconds again. And then what we can do is just click Generate. So what you'll see here is it's generated an access key and a secret key. Um, here's the lease ID. It is a renewable lease, um, and it's a 30-second lease. So if we look at the IAM Management Console real quick, so you can see that it automatically created a new user for us. For the fun of it, before it deletes, we'll go here. Here's our managed dev servers that it created, the same policy that we assigned within Vault. And if you look at security credentials, you can see it has access, uh, created its own access key and secret key. So if we go back to users and refresh, and it's already gone because we put a 30-second TTL on there. So ideally, you would use this for 
you know, something maybe like Jenkins or something like that to actually go do something in AWS and then revoke those credentials so they're no longer valid. Um, you know, the idea is to get rid of long lived secrets um, instead of things just lasting forever and just have access um, for AWS when you need it. So that's about it for the demo. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.